Hello everyone, today's video is going to be on variable frequency drives or VFDs for induction motors. Now what you can see behind me, this is the dryer and powering the dryer is the main induction motor over here. This is a 11 kilowatt uh, induction motor and the inherent problems of the induction motor is that uh, you know they have a high inrush current which is many times over the rated current and this is detrimental not only for the induction motor but uh, also for our generators. For us, we generate our own power and these are small generators, you know, these are just uh, 2 into 25 kilowatts uh, generators and uh, uh, having a high inrush current also is damages our, uh, you know, our uh, generators also. Uh, if you are not familiar with the uh, term of inrush current, just to give you an analogy, it is something like uh, you have a carburetor engine starting in the morning where you press the choke, you know, to give it more petrol. And then you have an injector engine where you have sensors and the start is relatively smooth. So I hope you have understand, I've understood the problem of the uh, inrush current. And to solve this problem, there are uh, two ways to solve this. One is using a soft starter and the other is using a, a, you know, a variable frequency drive uh, panel like this. So this here is the uh, panel. And why we've used this is because we have more flexibility. I'll just explain to you in a bit. Let's see the uh, components over here. We have the main uh, VFD over here and accompanying this is the uh, breakers and also some reactors here. The 50 you can see here is the frequency, the rated frequency is 50 hertz, but this we can change it. And uh, in fact, I've uh, run this at 56 hertz also. So let's just uh, start this up and you can see how smoothly it uh, you know, starts the engine, the uh, motor, sorry, and then shuts down again. So you can see a gradual increase of the frequency also. So you can just have a look now. So you can see it is gradually coming up the frequency and even the motor also. It doesn't uh, stutter during the start. It's a smooth start. And there we have reached to our rated frequency of 50 Hz, as you can see. Now I'll just shut this down. And again, it comes back very smoothly back to zero again. So this is a very smooth, you know, start up and shut down of the uh, motor. And uh, it gives a long life to both the motor and the generator also. Now. Uh, as I had mentioned before, why we use the VFD here is uh, because it's a flexible system. Uh, for the calculation of the speed and the frequency, the relation is by the formula uh, speed or N is equal to 120 into the frequency divided the num by the number of poles. Usually these motors are four poles and uh, rated speed will be around uh, 1460 give and take given the sleep percentage. So what you can do is by changing the frequency, you can also change the speed and uh, automatically the voltage also gets corrected. Uh, by changing the frequency, you change the speed. And what this means is uh, if you had watched my uh, video on the lawnmower to hydrokinetic turbine, you might have noticed that the uh, power is equal proportional to the cube of the velocity there. Similarly, in this case also, for the uh, mm, for the you know the speed and the power consume, if we uh, reduce the speed by around uh, ninety percent, that is forty five hertz, then uh, the power saving comes to around twenty seven percent. That's a huge power saving if you take in into the uh, cube factor. This is also known as the affinity laws or the pump laws or the pump, uh, or the fan laws uh, for this particular case. So it's a huge advantage for us. And that's why you use this one. Now, how this uh, functions uh, once again is that the AC supply is converted to DC, and uh, again the, that is uh, you know converted back from DC to AC using the with the required inputs such as you know what is the required frequency, uh, the slow start up, the slow start down, and the required voltage, and all those things. So here basically. What we have is, uh, you know, the rectifier, 
then the uh, filter, and then the inverter. Even here also, the problem of the uh, power factor is not there anymore. If you have not watched the video on the power factor, you can also check it out using the uh, capacity uh, banks. So I think you have uh, had a fairly good idea of the uh, VFD functioning over here and how it helps with the motor. Thank you for watching this video and uh, see you in the next one. Do keep watching my videos. Thank you.